Update 2 on Cyclone Fantala, which is a Category 5 storm on the Sappho Simpson Hurricane wind scale, both by the officials and from Force 13's independent analysis, which says it's slightly stronger, around 172 miles per hour and a pressure roughly around 908 millibars, moving west northwest at 11 miles per hour. That technicality aside, the storm is very strong and is perched over the tiny island atoll of Farquhar right now, so very bad conditions will probably be occurring there at this moment in time. The storm is expected to stall in the next 24 hours and then curve towards the southeast could provide the northern coast or the northern tip of Madagascar with storm conditions, uh, though the worst of the storm should remain out to sea, though it will remain a Category 3 for quite some time, one would expect, in the next five days, and could pose a significant threat to Mauritius or a Union uh, by the time we get to Day 5. Still far off, but the warning is there. And these are the warning areas, uh, the expected warning areas from the storm, warning outlined in red there, just about reaching the northern tip of Madagascar, and then as the uncertainty increases as time goes on, the uh, ovals extend themselves there, and certainly you want to watch out on the eastern coast of Madagascar and also um, in the Masserene Islands, um, Mauritius, Reunion and Rodrigues uh, by the time it gets to day 5 there. So. Right now, looking at the sea surface temperatures, the Category 5 is located over 28 or 29 degrees Celsius waters, and as you can see on here, the 26 degree waters extend um, beyond um, Mauritius and Réunion, a little bit further south of that to the southern tip, pretty much, of Madagascar is where the warm waters extend. Wind shear, look at that, very low indeed around the storm, though it will increase quite a lot as the storm moves towards the south, at least that's what it's like presently, uh, though the wind shear is lower than it was not so long ago yesterday, um, it was rather moderate where the storm is right now, now it's low. There it is on the satellite imagery and its proximity to Madagascar shown on that image there, um, and they may start to be feeling it very soon. So the storm expected to move towards the west-northwest, turn around, and then move towards the southeast. This is the model consensus, and it is quite close-knit, um, expecting that turn to happen in around 24 hours or sooner. That's the intensity, that's from the HWRF model, predicting the storm to be a Category 5 for around 24 hours, till it does that U-turn, and then it will weaken, possibly to Category 2 for a brief time, um, uh, but generally maintaining Category 3 intensity as it zips towards the southeast. Um, this isn't particularly flow to imagery, but this is what the storm's been doing in the past few hours on Force 13 satellite analysis on the Dvorak imagery there. As you can see, we've been putting the storm, well, in the high 170s in the last few frames. Um, the storm's been looking rather good, and you certainly wouldn't want to be in the path of that regardless of anything. The official, but the official intensity right now is 160 miles an hour after it was perilously close to a Cat 5 for over a day. We think it's been a Cat 5 on more than one occasion already though. There's the storm right now. Uh, you can't see the tiny atoll which the storm is next to, but I assure you it is pretty much in the western eye raw wall right now, if not in the eye at the time of speaking. You can follow this on the Force 13 website, the tracking page. Uh, where you can see everything that's going on right now. The website is undergoing um, redevelopment at the moment, so it may not be available right now, but it will be in due course. And there's also that little uh, area, area of interest near Indonesia, which appears to have fizzled out a little bit since yesterday's update. 16 storms have formed in 2016 so far. Might sound like a lot, but we are only one day away from 2016 being the quietest start to a, a calendar year on record. And that is unless we get another tropical storm forming tomorrow, which it could possibly happen near Fiji. 11 cyclones and 4 category 3s, uh, which I believe are fairly average numbers, if not above average. Um, certainly as cyclones are concerned. You can follow Force 13 on uh, any of our outlets. There they are, the website, force13.com, uh, and also its new forum, which relaunched not long ago, last Wednesday. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, search Force 13, all in text. Or you can add Full 13 on Skype for Tropical Weather Chat. That's F O O L 1 3 um, to talk to me, if you so wish, and I'll be able to answer any questions you may have about this storm, or anything in general. That's all for now.